Hand almost perhaps. Nope, we're going straight in. There we go. Quick 50%. So as a Fox player, what are you what are you looking for? What kind of opening are you looking for against Jigs? Well, well generally, it's, you're not really seeing a lot in this matchup, but just throwing out a lot of low aerials. Sometimes you can run in and get the up smash, but a lot of the time you're just trying to bait her into a standstill or a shield and get a dash defense grab. Then you can go up for up air. But depending on the caliber of player and their play style, a lot of the time players will opt to just laser cap to a high percent and try and sneak a back air. You, actually, you have to be quite patient a lot of the time in this matchup. But. Yeah, no, I think Fox I think patience is um quite a, quite a good virtue to have against pup players because you make one mistake, they grab you, it can lead to a kill. Yeah. So lucky making quick work of that first game. Fox is you know quite fast, so he can move around the stage really freely. Just make sure he's not getting hit, but then quickly turn it around and get in with a narrow whatever is good for that position. So don't worry to play them there as well. Another one, I don't think we'll be seeing any laser camping from Lucky here. <laughs> I think his pressure is is too much. Like he's yeah. he's quite happy to just go in like this. Sneak in a couple of cheekily lasers and, and keep going. I really like seeing taking a hit on a shield and then wave dashing in and then capitalize, capitalizing like that. I think it's a very interesting kind of punish. And of course, jab, jab up smash is quite amazing too. So quite far off with that rest. With the space in. Bucky just feels free to go and do anything. It's quite a lot harder to hit the uh, the rest than Hbox makes it seem, so not surprised there's a lot of people that that do miss them. Can't can't start overreaching or anything like that. Yeah. No, but you can get to a point where you feel like you're desperate for a hit, but you have to still stay. You know, yeah. Wait for the opportunity, or create the opportunity rather. With, you know, careful spacing, trying to bait them into something bad. This comes down to being disciplined, I think. Yeah. More than anything. With any character, the second you start overreaching, you find yourself in an awkward position where. You're going to be edge guarded or you're going to lose a stock. He's going to do it. Lucky 